Hi everyone, it's Riley. Um, this video is not going to be quick, but it's just going to be over everything that I've been up to lately. So, here it goes. Um, I first of all have a video of the drive up to my house here in Schwetzach. Now, I know a lot of you have been telling me, oh, it can't be that bad, it can't be that high up on the mountain, you're just complaining, and I hope this video shows you guys how long of a drive it actually is. And yes, I am, well, I'm not driving, my host mom is driving in this video, which it takes about two minutes. There's a cut in the middle, and that's because we picked up a boy on the way up the mountain. But it takes about two or three minutes to drive up to my house, which means it's about 15 to 20 minutes by foot. So I'll put that here. I hope after that video you guys understand that yes, it is a long walk to get up to my house. But I can't complain about it because it is completely and 100% worth it for my host family. They're amazing. And if I had to walk all the way up the mountain with my host family, I would definitely do it. In, in a heartbeat, hands down. There would be no questions about it. I am so happy in my host family. And it's sad to think that I only have about four weeks left with them because I have a week and a half now and I have a two week Euro tour and then I have about two weeks and then I leave and it's so sad to think about that but I'm having so many great experiences with them and it's an amazing family to end my attend my exchange here with. A fun thing that we did is we have Easter break this week before Easter and my host family, my host dad is from Salzburg. Not the city, the land Salzburg, there's a difference. There's an entire, I guess it's, like it's considered a state, called Salzburg, and then there's the big city, Salzburg, where the sound of music takes place. They have a house in a really small village called St. Martin, and so we went there from, I think it was Saturday until Wednesday. And middle of nowhere, pretty much, like, it's pretty far away from middle of the, middle of the village, no Wi-Fi, only have TV in my books, and it was so nice. I just got to hang out with my host family, and it was, it was, it was the joke that it was, you sleep, and then you eat, and then you sleep, and then you eat, and that's kind of all there is to do in St. Martin, and it's, that's pretty true, but it was fantastic either way. We went on a trip into the city of Salzburg, and fun story, I bought my, I bought my official dirndl, which is the traditional dress that Austrians wear in for big special occasions. And I'll put a picture of it here. As you can see, it's pretty formal. Um, the whole idea of it is, yes, okay, I am wearing my trashy tourist sweatshirt. Um, the whole idea of it is it's a top underneath and it cuts off right about here, so right where my bra ends and then it's a dress that goes over it and all you can see is from it's like a little patch like this wide of white and then it has the ruffles that come here. My dress, the buttons, there's no zippers on it so I have to hand do every single button and it takes me so long to get into it but it's the best thing I've bought in here and I found it on sale for half price. A dirndl can cost as much as around 700 euros which is almost a thousand dollars. 
So I found my dindle for 135 euros, which is I think close to about $200, maybe I think a little bit less than $200, which is fantastic for a dindle. It fits me like a glove. I have absolutely no idea how Julie Andrews sang in that dress. She must have, I mean, they must have sang it before and then added the voice in later because there's no way you can take those deep breaths when you need to sing in that dress. It's made for standing up straight and, you know, not really sitting down. <laughs> like, the lady said, can you breathe? And I'm like, kind of. And she's like, good, that's how it should be. It should be really tight. So, um, good thing I bought it at the end of my exchange because now I know I won't gain any weight or anything. So I would have been the person to gain weight. I would have been screwed at the beginning of my exchange if I bought it then. Also, while we were in Salzburg, we did a little bit of tourist shopping, I guess. I mean, that's where I found my sweatshirt. And I found some things for my family too. Um, and we went on the, I guess, like the biggest street, the most famous street in Salzburg. And I took a little bit of a video to just kind of show you guys that I was there. We also went into a really big church there and I guess it's the oldest church and underneath there's a crypt which has all the dead priests, bishops, I don't know what you call them, I'm so confused with church things. I took a video just kind of walking through it and so I'll put that here. Next day I went to Linz. There is a concentration camp in a city outside of Linz and I went with three of my other exchange friends. We traveled to the concentration camp and we walked around. It was a really sad and very emotional experience. There was this thing called a um, Vashirai and or something like that. It's pretty much just like the, the washroom. The upstairs area is transformed I think I think it was a church before um, and then the back room is kind of a memorial for soldiers who came and were stuck there but when you walked underneath to the underneath portion of it it was the showers and the ovens for people and um, I got caught in the doorway at the beginning I was having trouble breathing I was getting really scared it was just this whole horrible, heart-crushing feeling being there and I mean yes I was taking pictures because you want to you want to show someone that I was here and you want to have that b bit of history with you and be able to look back at it and kind of not necessarily relive it but just understand the experience again that you went through but I mean as I'm taking pictures I'm talking to the girl one of the other exchange students and I just I don't understand it I've learned about it in history class I know the reasons behind it and it was just so barbaric I I mean it really got to me and my day was it was so sad after that walking we had to walk up the mountain which is the road that the people would have had to walk and I mean we were all kind of laughing and like oh my god is this the walk they had to do this is horrible blah, blah, blah. and then when we actually got there we found out that it was we were like wow that's not something to laugh about it's just it was it got so serious and it didn't get serious until we sat we were there and we saw it and it was like this isn't just something you read about in textbooks this did happen and it was very daunting that people can be that bad to each other and I'm, I'm happy I saw it, but it's also like really sad. After that, um, I took the train back here to Vorarlberg with my friend Lindsay. We stayed at my host parents' house and then we went to her house because her host family was in Italy and she didn't want to be alone. So we stayed at her house for two days and then we came back to my house for Saturday and Sunday. And Saturday is the day before Easter and then Sunday, Easter Sunday, of course. And Saturday we went to the church and did the whole Easter 
Eve Mass. It was an interesting experience. They definitely did it differently than I've ever experienced Easter Mass before. We all stayed outside and the priest came out. Priest? That's what he's called, right? I'm not good with the terminology. He came out and he had this really big candle. I think it came up to about like his natural waist. Or maybe, no, it came up to about his hip. He said some things and it was in German, but I mean, it was hard to understand because he's talking in a microphone and it's outside so the speakers aren't very good. He lit the really big candle because they had a bonfire going and he lit the really big candle in the bonfire. He Then he took it inside with him. He had these, okay, and we were given those candles like before we went in. We all get into our little aisles to sit down, standing there, and the choir is singing and everyone he took the big candle and he lit people in the front's candles and then you turn around and you light everyone else's candles so we're all kind of lighting the same we're lighting from the same flame i guess i don't know it was just really an interesting experience part of the way through when you have to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name and that whole thing i was listening and i knew that time of it was coming and i was like okay okay i can say this and you can say this in english i can actually participate in this part of the church because i've been singing with this stuff but it was hard to speak some of the words because it's, I mean, they're complicated words in English and then you try and say them in German and it just gets more complicated. So I hear it and I start hearing the words and I translate them. I'm like, oh, okay, I think this is it. And I listen to my friend Lindsay next to me and she's saying it. And so both Lindsay and I are saying this prayer, but we're saying it in English while everyone else is saying it in German. Um, I don't know. I thought that was just really cool that even though we're in a church and we don't really like, she understands the language because she's had five years of German, but me, that I can still pick up on those little keys and, like, understand enough to be able to keep up a little bit. That was just kind of comforting to me. Then we came back. It was pretty late. I think it was, like, 10, 30, 11. And the next day we woke up and we had a little Easter egg hunt in the house. I mean, well, it wasn't an Easter egg hunt. It was more of just, you have two presents in the house, go find them. I had a little box this and it is shower gel body lotion and a little loofah but I also had a basket with chocolate and a huge chocolate bunny in it they're both hidden the chocolate bunny thing was hidden in a basket that had things over the top of it so it took me a long time to find out where it was the box that was hidden behind a picture and Lindsay actually found this for me and I found her box so we just kind of like oh okay and we traded them back my basket I was looking through all of these cupboards and everything and my little host brother's walking past me he's like you're getting warmer you're getting warmer and so I was like, oh, I can't be in this basket. There's things on top of it. And he's just like, you're getting warmer. So I looked and it was there, of course. So that was kind of fun. Um, and for lunch, we had lamb and asparagus and some risotto rice. It was just really good, really delicious. I mean, it was kind of, it was a really relaxed day. It's been pretty relaxed since getting back. I have school tomorrow, school on Tuesday. And so I have this week and I have two days next week and then I'll go on my Euro tour. So hopefully I'll be able to update before then. If not, I will do it after or I'll start a little video before to tell you guys I won't be on for a few weeks. But other than that, I hope you guys liked it and I hope you learned something new or just laughed at some, you know, found something nice about this video. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye.